This video is brought to you by Anchor. Charge it fast, make it last. What's up guys and finally welcome to a speed test comparison between the Google Pixel 6 Pro versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max. We have Google's own custom Tensor chip in action against Apple's A15. Can Google shock us all in this epic comparison? But before we begin, guys, I want to give a big shout out to Anchor for making this video possible. Anchor Nano Pro delivers three times more faster charging speed than Apple's original 5 watt charger with up to 20 watt speed. You can get 50% in just 26 minutes. Best thing I love about this charger is that it's incredibly small, easily fits everywhere, and it's super light. It also has all time protection with temperature sensor and intelligent software, which makes charging process safe while protecting the phone's battery. So be sure to check out the special link in the description to get the Anchor Nano Pro for your iPhone. Charge it fast make it last. Okay, without any further ado, let's begin the speed test comparison with the first boot up test. So here we go at the same time, boom. Okay, so we have the Google logo first that came up really quick. I think Pixel 6 Pro will be faster and yes, I'm right. Okay, we are about a couple of seconds faster than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Again, iOS 15 on the iPhone versus Android 12 on the Pixel 6 Pro. Okay, both phones are in position. Fresh Android against fresh iOS. Looking incredible. 120 years refresh rate on both devices. As always, we'll kick things off with some basic stuff first just to check out the animation speed. So first app will be Phone Dialer. We're going to be launching it in 3, 2, 1, boom. So that is pretty quick on both phones, just a difference of animation. Let's launch one more system-based app, which is going to be Settings. Pretty quick on both devices. Before we jump into the third-party applications, I want to quickly check out the Geekbench 5 performance on both devices. So Pixel 6 Pro coming with the Tensor chip actually has two high-performance Cortex-X1 core. The setup of the cores are a little different compared to other Android phones. So we're just going to quickly jump into the benchmark and see the score compared to the Apple A15. All right, both phones are done and you can see the huge amount of difference in terms of numbers on both phones. Apple is just completely untouchable. Apple is just completely in its own league when it comes to the benchmark numbers and Tensor is just so far away. But these right here are just the numbers. We are interested in seeing the real life performance of the Pixel 6 Pro. So let's kick things off with the first game. Yes, it's going to be Subway Surfer on both phones at the same time. Here we go. All right. Okay, so the iPhone was just a tiny bit quicker there and Pixel, considering that benchmark number, it wasn't that far away. We're just gonna start the game and sort of leave it there. Next up, we have YouTube. And that was quicker on the Pixel 6 Pro for sure. Again, different feed. You scroll around, looks really, really fast on both phones. No difference whatsoever. 120 hertz refresh rate, making everything butter. Next we have is Alto's Adventure and that is okay that is definitely faster on the Pixel 6 Pro iPhone is still taking some time and now it is it has begin processing or I should say loading the game so we can already kick start it on the Pixel 6 Pro. This game is looking really good on both devices. Again, you can see the difference in terms of the design. We have the notch up against the punch hole. In my opinion, Google Pixel 6 Pro looks much more cleaner, but it's just gonna come down to personal preference. Let me know which one do you prefer design-wise in the comments below. Next up, we have TikTok. And that is definitely quicker on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Again, different feed on both phones. We scroll around. Uh, looks really really good quick loads up no issues whatsoever unlimited entertainment just don't get too much into this application moving on to asphalt 9 and let's see which one is the king of loading asphalt 9 tensor or apple a15 tensor wins you can see that was really really quick and surprising 
iPhone still taking some time. I can still see the loading going on. We can actually just quickly jump into the same stage because we're going to be checking out the in-game loading time as well. And now, as you can see, the iPhone is done. So uh, definitely quite a bit of time there. Honestly, this is something that I wasn't expecting, but let's see the actual in-game loading time and see if Apple can flip the script or not. So let's play it at the same time. And let's see. Okay, no, Tensor still faster than the A15 in the actual in-game loading time of the Asphalt 9, so wow. Okay, numbers are definitely not every everything, and uh, if you look at the actual game, it's looking really good on both phones. 60 frames per second, and wow. Look at all those effects on the screen, no difference whatsoever incredible but definitely tensor wins with not only the loading the application faster but also with the in-game loading time next we have instagram and that definitely opened up quicker on the iphone 13 pro max uh, we've got same feed going on if we just quickly scroll around once again looks really smooth but apple took the lead with the app load up let's check out my profile and that also got loaded up faster on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's see which is faster when it comes to the Insta camera launch. So a swipe. Okay. Let's do that again. Seems like it is quicker on slightly quicker on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Apple has this sort of a blur thing going on. So just a tiny bit quicker there on the Pixel 6 Pro. And picture looks pretty good as well on both devices just gonna leave it there and moving on to the next application which is going to be Cora and I think that was a tiny bit quicker on the Google Pixel 6 Pro once again scrolling looking very smooth on both phones time to spice things up by launching PUBG mobile on both phones at the same time so here we go let's see if tensor can surprise us once again in this epic speed test battle so okay loading time first moving forward on the pixel iphone taking its time and yeah definitely tensor finished up quick you can see the that loading part and now it has loaded up the promo so Tensor actually surprising us throughout this game loading time. So now looking at the graphics setting, the Tensor has the Ultra HD option, while the iPhone goes up to Extreme option when it comes to the frame rate. We do get HDR on both phones, but on the iPhone you can switch to the Ultra HD if you want to by downloading the additional file. Uh, well here it says it's coming soon. Still HDR is available on both phones. Let's quickly check out the in-game performance and wow this is looking really really smooth no lag whatsoever and by the way it's actually having a melee gpu that is similar to samsung galaxy s21 ultra just a different configuration when it comes to the cores it is actually running really really smooth and same thing with the iphone 13 pro max if i actually just move around incredible actually iphone feels even smoother Obviously, you can't see that through the camera, but it's probably the extreme frame rate, which is adding that extra butteriness to this incredible gameplay. But overall, the performance looks really, really good, really smooth on both phones. And hopefully in the future, PUBG can definitely take advantage of the 120Hz refresh rate. Next up, we have Twitter. And that is pretty quick on both phones, but different feed. I think the iPhone was a tiny bit quicker, but again, you guys are the judge here. When we scroll around, okay, so we did see a little bit of stuttering or what I would say a little bit of lag on the Pixel in the beginning, but oh, there we go again. Yeah, it is trying its best, but it's definitely not as smooth in the Twitter scrolling compared to the iPhone. So definitely we need 
an update for that but yeah it's not bad it's still 120 hertz but like if i scroll like this when it's loading stuff there's like you can you can tell there's a little bit of hiccup there but yeah iphone is just really really smooth here so i would i would definitely give this win to the iphone when it comes to the in-app twitter scrolling now next up we have my favorite video rendering performance test of uh, these two phones within the adobe rush application all right the clip is selected let's create at the same time boom and you can see the tensor was quicker loading this up on the timeline but let's see which one actually plays it faster for us in terms of scrolling on the clip so you can see it is frame by frame really quick on the iphone let's see how smooth it is on the tensor here we go okay not bad yeah not bad actually it's it's doing almost the same job as the iphone we've just set up the same brighting effect on both phones and time to render these clips out at the same time on both devices here we go and let's see if tensor stands any chance against the incredible rendering performance on the iphone 13 pro max you can see that iPhone is definitely ahead. We're just going to speed this clip through. And now we are done on the Pixel 6 Pro as well. So it took additional about a minute and a half compared to the iPhone's render. Now next up we have the browsing war. So I'm just going to open up the same website on both phones at the same time. Boom. And I think that is definitely quicker on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Again, when we scroll around, both ones are looking smooth, no issue whatsoever. Next up, we have wikipedia.org, and I think that was just a tiny bit quicker on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Again, very, very close performance when it comes to the loading of the websites, but let's just jump into the favorite part of the speed test, which is definitely the RAM management. 12 gigs of RAM on the Tensor, versus the 6 gb of RAM on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's see if Pixel 6 Pro can keep up the apps in the memory. Phone dollar still there. Moving back to settings, still there. Geekbench 5, Subway Surfer. So that actually got refreshed on the Pixel 6 Pro. So that is not a really good sign, but let's see what else we have with the other applications, YouTube, that is still there. Altos game, that is refresh, while iPhone is still keeping that in the memory. Impressive stuff, considering the iPhone only having half the RAM that we have on the Pixel 6 Pro, so it is incredible that it's keeping that in the memory. Next we've got TikTok, it got refresh on the Pixel while iPhone still keeping that in the memory. We're back to Asphalt 9. That got refresh on the Pixel as well. So pretty much all the games have been refreshed on the Pixel 6 Pro. Again, I am testing this out completely on its default settings. Google has talked a lot about their battery optimization. So maybe this is why it refreshes some applications. But you can see uh, we have the Instagram still there on both phones right where we left. Well, let's jump right into Cora. Still there. Next up, we have PUBG Mobile. And that's still there. Okay, so that's actually still there on both phones. That is the first game that we haven't seen being refreshed on the Pixel 6 Pro. Moving on to Twitter. Still there. Premiere Rush. And finally, we are back to the browser. I have to say, I am so impressed with iPhone's RAM management. Like, every speed test that I've done on this phone, it has showed perfect RAM management by having half the RAM size of the leading Android flagship phones. As for the Pixel 6 Pro, despite having 12 gigs of RAM, it wasn't able to keep everything in the memory, probably because of Google's optimization regarding the battery saving and stuff like that. So that is just my guess. Maybe things will get improved as we move further, but overall, I'm really impressed by Tensor's performance when it comes to the app's opening speed. Considering the benchmark difference, Tensor was quicker compared to the iPhone in terms of game loading times. Even in the in-game loading times, especially with the Asphalt 9, it was able to beat the iPhone. So 
overall very impressive performance and yeah that's it for this test let me know what you think about this in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys later peace out